Oakland is in a disaster situation because now their mayor, the Oakland mayor, is accused of creating a public safety crisis by dismantling the police department Oakland. Guys, Oakland has always been kind of rough. And you know when there's no cops, it just got super bad. You, know, you already have business owners that are refusing to pay taxes because the crime rate is so high. But we'll get into that in the later course of this video. But basically, there is a massive corruption scandal, not to mention the public safety situation in Oakland is so bad that even Taco Bell has shut down their dining options. So if you ever want to get some late night Taco Bell munchies, you're gonna have to go through the drive-through and eat in your car. Now here's the thing, over 200 businesses last year closed up shop for a strike because the crime rate is so high. Guys, we're not talking about one store, two store, or 10 stores. Over 200 stores in Oakland closed up. That's basically like half the city. You know, you gotta like really make the business guys super mad to have them shut down their stores. They basically sacrificed a whole day of profit just to make a statement. And it's a very expensive statement that these guys are making. And has the streets ever been cleaned up? No. You know, the whole dismantling the police situation in Oakland, crime has gotten worse, especially with the ultra lax policies California has sent out. Shoplifting under $1,000 is a misdemeanor, which basically means you could go to Best Buy, grab a 50 inch flat screen TV, and maybe also a computer mouse and be okay. Nothing's really gonna happen to you. It's a misdemeanor, it's a slap on the wrist if you get caught. This is why shoplifting is so rampant in many of the American cities because there really is no consequences. I mean, under $1,000 is a really, really big number. Like an iPhone is under $1,000. So this is what we're seeing. And businesses are willing to shut down to make a statement, but the word's not really getting across to the city council or the mayor. In fact, now this year, Frustrated business owners in Oakland are threatening to refuse to pay the taxes because they're asking themselves, why in the world are we paying the sky-high Bay Area tax when our businesses are no longer being protected? What happened to like more police, more police patrols? What happened to cleaning the streets and cutting down crime? Crime is getting worse in Oakland. Many business owners in Little Saigon, which is predominantly Vietnamese, say it reminds them of the Vietnam War. That's how bad it is. Here you go. Oakland business owner says living and working in Little Saigon reminds them of the war times back a few decades ago. It's that bad. Can you imagine being in Oakland and it's like a war zone? And this is from like an immigrant uh, family. So far, we're going to be seeing a lot more situation happening in Oakland. Many of the shops in Little Saigon are being looted and ransacked. Homes are being robbed. Police isn't really doing much. Oakland 911, you got to wait in line. That's one of the wildest things I've ever seen. And the police department in Oakland is so stretched thin, they can't even do anything. I mean, I'm sure there's officers that wanna do stuff, but they can't. Because basically, the Oakland mayor just wiped out the police department, creating a massive public safety crisis. And like I said, combine it with the super lax laws of California in terms of shoplifting and looting, it's just a recipe for disaster. Even downtown Oakland businesses are surprised by Kaiser's warning to workers. It's not just Kaiser, but several other corporations in downtown Oakland basically telling their office and workers to please not go out for lunch. Pack your own lunch or get DoorDash. And in fact, some companies, if you park your car like two or three blocks away on a nearby garage, they'll literally give you a free private security guard to escort you to your car because it's so dangerous. Because a lot of these employees do carry like very expensive items like watches, uh, iPhones, tablets, notebooks, you know, very, very expensive Apple laptops. So, you know, there, there's going to be like a lot of like a safety situation happening. So Kaiser is straight up telling employees, hey, man, if you want to go out for lunch, DoorDash or cook something at home from HelloFresh. So this is what we're seeing here in the Bay Area. Can they recover from this? We're not really sure anymore. It's going to be pretty difficult. But I think what California and the rest of the cities really need are big, drastic changes to really reverse this course.